In this presentation, we are going to understand how to find out the power of composite number in a given factorial. We will move on to our problem number 1 directly. In this problem, we need to find the power of 6 in 5 factorial. 6 is a composite number and we need to find power of this composite number in 5 factorial. Let's move on to our solution now. The step number one is to break 6 as the multiplication of prime numbers. When we multiply 2 and 3, 2 prime numbers, we will have 6. So 6 we can write as 2 multiplied to 3, where 2 is our first prime number and 3 is our second prime number. So we are done with step number one and now we will move on to our step number two. In step number two, we will forget about six and we will focus on the two prime numbers we have. We will try to find out the highest power of two, the first prime number in five factorial and then we will find out the highest power of three, the second prime number in five factorial. So now we will move on to the calculation of highest power of our first prime number which is 2 in 5 factorial and from the previous lecture we know it will be equal to 5 5 divided by 2 power 1 which is 2 plus 5 divided by 2 power 2 this will give us 4 4 the denominator is less than the numerator so we will take one more term 5 divided by 2 power 3 2 power 3 is equal to 8 and 8 the denominator is larger than the numerator and that is why we will stop here now when you divide 5 by 2 you will have 2.5 and we will only consider the integer part which is 2 when you divide 5 by 4 you will have the integer part equal to 1 when you divide 5 by 8 you will have the integer part equal to 0. 2 plus 1 plus 0, we have 3. So the highest power of prime number 2 in 5 factorial is equal to 3. Now we will find out the highest power of our second prime number which is 3 in 5 factorial. We will have 5 divided by 3 power 1 plus 5 divided by 3 power 2 3 power 2 is equal to 9. 9, the denominator is now larger than the numerator, so we will stop here. 5, when you divide by 3, you will have the integer part equal to 1. 5, when you divide by 9, you will have the integer part equal to 0. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So the highest power of prime number 3 in 5 factorial is equal to 1. So in this way we are done with our step number 2 and let us now move on to our final step, step number 3 in which we need to compare 3 and 1. 3 when compared to 1 we can say that 1 is smaller and 3 is larger. And the highest power of composite number 6 in 5 factorial will be equal to the power which is smaller, not to the power which is larger. So finally we can say that the highest power of 6 in 5 factorial is equal to 1. We will now try to check our answer 5 factorial is equal to 5 multiplied to 4 multiplied to 3, multiplied to 2, multiplied to 1. 3 multiplied to 2 is giving us 6. So we can write this as 6, 3 multiplied to 2, we have written as 6, multiplied to 5, multiplied to 4, multiplied to 1. Now what is the power of 6? It is equal to 1, the same thing we have obtained. So in this way we are done with our problem number 1 and now we will move on to our problem number 2. In problem number 2 we need to find the power of 27 a composite number in 80 factorial. So let us move on to our step number 1. In the first step we will write 27 as the multiplication of prime numbers. 27 is equal to prime number 3 
multiplied to prime number 3 multiplied to prime number 3. So we are having three same prime numbers multiplied together to give 27. And therefore, we will not have a situation to make a selection like we did in problem number 1. We simply need to find out the highest power of prime number 3 in a factorial and then divide the result by 3 because we have three threes. Makes sense? So let us move on to finding out the highest power of prime number 3 in 80 factorial. We will have 80 divided by 3 power 1 plus 80 divided by 3 power 2. 3 power 2 is 9 less than 80. We will have our next term 80 divided by 3 power 3. 3 power 3 is equal to 27. We can see from here, we will take the next term. We will have 80 divided by 3 power 4. 3 power 4 is equal to 81. 81, the denominator is now larger than the numerator and that is why we will stop here. Let's do the calculation. 80 when divided by 3 will give you the integer part equal to 26. 80 when divided by 9 will give you the integer part equal to 8. 80 when divided by 27 will give you the integer part 2 and from here we will have the integer part equal to 0 after the division. Now we will perform the addition and we will have 36 as the result. So 36 is the highest power of prime number 3 in 80 factorial. And to have the highest power of 27, the composite number in 80 factorial, we will divide 36 by 3. So the highest power of 27 in 80 factorial is equal to 36. The highest power of 3 in 80 factorial divided by 3 because we have 3 3's. This will give us 12 as our answer. So I hope this problem is clear to you. And now we will move on to our homework problem. You need to find the power of 18, the composite number 18 in 10 factorial. Try to solve this problem and once you have your answer, post it in comment section.